Caballero and I'm a licensed cosmetologist. I've been all different hair colors and I've been blonde for about three and a half years. So I've tried almost everything out there to keep hair healthy and these are my top favorite things. Now anybody can benefit from this video, dark hair and blonde hair, uh, especially blondes though because they tend to be the most prone to damage. So let's get started. First will be Old Plex. Literally, this is a miracle scent from heaven. What it is, it's a product that you can mix with your hair bleach, hair color, or you can use alone uh, as a hair treatment. Like that, can you see? And um, what it does, it uh, when placed in your inside your bleach, it allows you to lift to a higher uh, blonde, a lighter blonde, with very little damage. And a lot of people, their hair is even uh, softer and healthier than before they dye their hair. So I really love that, my favorite thing out of everything I've ever tried. Uh, next would be to use a good hair bleach. I like the L'Oreal Platinum Plus. This is a professional one, but they also have um, Sally's kind that you don't, you don't need a license to purchase. Uh, from Sally's, um, I would probably say I like uh, the one, um, I think it's by Wella. They have different ones. Uh, I think it's a purple or a blue and then like a white one. I like the, the plain white one. But still, this is my number one favorite. And also another professional one that I like, uh, probably my second best, will be the Blunder Wella and the original one because they have different ones, the original powder one. Um, on this one, they have a blue and a pink. I have the blue because it's much stronger and my hair is like jet black. So I need that one. And um, if you're not a licensed cosmetology, then you probably can't purchase the professional products I'm talking about. But if you know uh, one, she can probably get one um, for you. And if not, that you can check Amazon because they sell a lot of these products right right there. I've seen them, so check them out if you don't have a licensed cosmetologist who can, you know, get these products for you. Um, next would be to use a shower filter. That is like uh, one of my favorite ones too. Uh, what it is, um, water contains a lot of pollutants, and it really damages and dries out the hair. So. It is very important to have one, a shower filter. Next will be to sleep with your hair braided or in a bun because it reduces friction against the pillow and um, that will prevent a lot of damage and freeziness on your hair. And moving on will be uh, also use a satin or a silk pillowcase for the same reason. Uh, whenever you have a cotton one, uh, it um, causes friction between um, between the cotton and the hair and it lifts the cuticle up and then that makes it more damaged, dry and trust me, it will, it will make a huge, huge difference. Um, next will be to use a microfiber towel and I got the pillowcase, you can get them anywhere but I got mine from Walmart I think and then um, use a microfiber towel because it decreases the amount of time and um, you don't have to use as much uh, tugging uh, whenever you dry your hair and um, it, it removes the water very quickly you don't want to mess with the hair too much when it's wet because it's very prone to stretching, snapping, breaking so microfiber towel, just just go like this don't, don't, don't do this and next will be to shampoo your hair as little as you can um, for most people, that would be every three every three days. I mean, and um, some people cannot go that long. Um, maybe you have to wash it every other day or something like that. But if you can try to wait, you know, uh, as much as you can, about three days, like I said, for most people. And what what that's for is that your hair contains a lot of natural oils that are super amazing for your hair. Honestly, probably more amazing than the, any oil that you can purchase at the store. And you're gonna brush your hair with the paddle brush daily to distribute all those oils throughout your whole hair. Um, and 
for paddle brush um, I tried the wet brush but I only like it for when my hair is wet I, I don't like that I feel that it takes too long to remove the tangles whenever it's dry my favorite brush that I tried is one by Paul Mitchell it's, it's a flat paddle brush that was a professional one too but you can find them anywhere Walmart Sally is just a flat um, paddle brush that has kind of air like long bristles um, next would be to if you cannot hold uh, on that long to wash your hair they do sell dry shampoos and what you do you spray it at the root while your hair is dry uh, brush it too with like a paddle brush again and it cleanses the hair and the scalp I personally haven't found one that I like because it, it tends to dry my hair but I know a lot of people that swear that it is amazing for them so it's worth a try I think uh, next would be to use a uh, protein shampoo and a moisture shampoo and alternate between them because protein shampoo it is meant to strengthen the hair to prevent damage I mean yeah to prevent um, damage and breaking snapping but moisture shampoo is meant to provide moisture softness to the hair not strengthening the hair so what you want to do is alternate because too much protein can actually do the opposite and snap the hair so one that I found that I really like is um, Redken Extreme Shampoo uh, this is a, uh, a professional one too uh, uh, if you're looking for a drugstore alternative I really like um, there's one by Tresemme and it's um, it's it's the one with protein in it I think it's black and red bottle and uh, you're going to shampoo your hair with this uh, the first time you wash your hair and then um, you're going to do your hair trimming after that instead of a conditioner and then next time you shampoo your hair you're going to uh, use Joico Moisture um, and along with your um, hair treatment of choice also but not on the same day remember um, for hair treatment I say skip the conditioner because you, you you're gonna wash your hair about twice a week or so and um, I recommend a hair treatment about twice a week so instead of the hair conditioner I'll do a hair mask uh, there's different ones this is a very very popular one along with this this other two Redken products that I name um, this is the the Joico K Pack Deep Penetrating Reconstructor, and it, again, it's an, it's, it keeps on getting awards and is very loved by many hairstylists. It's amazing. It's my favorite one so far. Um, put this on your hair first. Try to take out all the water as much as possible, so the hair is not swollen with water, and instead, uh, it gets swollen with hair treatment. And you're gonna uh, put it throughout your whole hair, especially the ends. And then you're gonna brush it too with a white tooth comb. Um, this one I got from Sally's for like two dollars. White tooth comb because it's less harsh and less pulling on your wet, sensitive hair. And also, you end up using less product, um, um, and, and, and it goes throughout your whole hair. Um, Next will be to use a live-in hair treatment. I like the Redken Extreme Anti-Snap. Um, when um, I use this right after I bleach my hair, like the first uh, week or even a week and a half, something like that. Uh, you put it on right after you, um, right after you wash your hair when your hair is still wet. And um, I like to alternate different hair treatments, uh, live-in hair treatments, and. Um, like I said, this was usually uh, when I just bleached my hair to prevent snapping. It's a Redken Extreme Anti-Snap. Uh, and next will be to apply uh, hair serum to your hair daily if possible or less if your hair is too greasy. Um, apply a little bit and brush it through with the, with the, with the brush. Um, next will be um, whenever um, to keep up with the tone of your hair whether it's platinum blonde or golden blonde you're gonna want to tone it um, platinum hair tends to get golden over time so for that um, you're gonna use a purple shampoo and it gets rid of yellow unwanted tones on the hair on silver and blonde and then they also have some that are like conditioners 
This is the Provana Pure Light Sultry Free Brightening Shampoo, my favorite purple shampoo so far. And then this, this is the Redken Blonde Idol. They do have shimmer lights at Sally's. That one works, but I think that it's uh, quite drying on my hair. So that's why I, I would try to get this one if you can. And um, right now, um, I got tired of the Platinum Blonde, so I toned my hair golden. Uh, to a golden blonde with this one I'm using the Red Can Blonde Idol they do have blonde um, golden blonde shampoos and conditioners but right now I have the the um, the conditioner by Red Can Blonde Idol Custom Tone and you're able to select how golden you want it I put it on the goldest possible left it on my hair for about 10 minutes and it got like this golden and a yellow blonde and um, next will be um, Let's see, treat before the, you go to the pool. The pool has a lot of chemicals like chlorine and stuff that can really dry up the hair and damage it and sometimes turn it green. So you want to put on a good hair treatment, conditioner, or even Vaseline and put it up in a high bun. That's not. And um, next would be to use um, coconut oil prior to washing your hair. I mean the night before. What you're going to do is, I like to use this one, organic coconut extra virgin oil I bought it at um, Sam's I believe and you can purchase this anywhere uh, in your grocery store actually it's where the cooking oils are at and you just look for that one try to get a, uh, the virgin one because it's a lot more pure than the non virgin one and what you do is you lather it up in your hair dry hair and then you put it up in a high bun or braid it and then put on a, a satin or silk pillowcase um, that way you don't get all over your pillowcase. I mean, wrap it up in a high bun or <laughs> braid it and then put on a satin or silk um, cap. That way the oil doesn't get all over your pillowcase and then from your pillowcase to your face. And uh, it's going to be a hair treatment for your hair. And then the next day when you wake up, it will be a little greasy. And then that's whenever you shampoo your hair. Uh, next will be to use um, um, hair and try not to use hair ties if possible because hair ties cause stress on the hair especially if you wear it over the same spot every single day try to use a hair clip or bobby pins they're much gentler and also they don't leave the crease you know like when your hair is straightened or stuff um, next will be to split your hair in different partings not the same part every single day because then the same hair is exposed to the sun and to the atmosphere and then that hair will be very damaged as opposed to the rest of your hair so alternate the splits or you can even wear a hat but me uh, I don't like to wear hats too often um, to protect it from the sun again uh, next will be to um, use a hip protectant um, this is my number one favorite. This is a camera platinum. It is a professional one. Uh, drugstore alternative will probably be um, one that I like. Um, one by Tresemme. They have a, a regular one and then they have a, a, a new one. I like the, 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 the new one. Yeah. I forget the exact name, but it's by Tresem as heat protectant. I do like this one um, better though because this is a camera platinum blow dry spray. Because what it does, um, it, it is not wet, so it goes on your hair dry like a like oil, and that way you don't like sizzle and burn whenever you put heat to it. Also, when you spray it on your hair, um, it reduces the amount that it takes you for for you to dry your hair. Well, like up to 50% so saves me a lot of time and try your best to use as little heat as possible there's a lot of hairstyles you can do uh, with no heat look them up uh, next I will I will have a video on all my favorite hair care products I can't put them here because this video will be super long and another one on my favorite hair tool uh, to keep your hair healthy because I consider it very important too but again it will be too long to do it right now uh, next will be uh, alternate your products 
your hair oils, your hair shampoos, hair treatments, everything. Because I noticed that it, you use the exact same stuff all the time. Uh, it just doesn't work the same as it used to. And um, you, you want to alternate your favorite products. You'll notice a big difference in, um, in how they perform. Next will be to... Uh, if your hair is uh, past the repairing stage, you know, when it's so, so damaged that like you're in the shower and it's so like, and your hair is wet and it's so like gummy and, and so, so soft, not even a good soft, it's like a slimy soft, you, you just go like this and it just like melts away and your hand breaks extremely easy. Odds are it's past the repairing stage. In that case, there's nothing you can do about it, but cut it and start again trust me uh, is the best thing you can do whenever I first dyed my hair platinum blonde it was so damaged I had to cut it into uh, a bob really short bob like this but once I started doing my roots um, it, it wasn't as damaged the new hair that I would kept on dying it wasn't as damaged uh, I mean um, it was just when I first did it um, so I think that is it for today. I can't think of anything else. Oh yes, whenever um you do your hair treatment, leave it on for as long as possible. Um, I like to shower my body or do whatever. I, no, I, I like to put on the shampoo, then the hair treatment, and then um put on a shower cap, and then that way all the product stays in and it's not just coming off. And then. Uh, wash your body or do whatever else you have to do shaving whatever and then towards the very end you know the longer the better rinse out the hair product um the hair treatment do not leave in hair products that are not meant to live in like hair conditioner do not do that um and i'm thinking i'm thinking is that it mm -hmm. i think that's it so um if you like this video um you know like subscribe if you like and uh, you can find me on Instagram at 11 Karen Caballero, the same as my YouTube name. So leave any questions or comments that you have, and I'll be more than happy to get back to you. I'll do my very best. So I am wearing extensions right now at the moment. Um, they're this long. They're the Lily, the longest ones and the thickest ones that she had on her line by Bellamy. And my hair is, if I can find it, it is. About this long it is very strong um, very soft movable and know that the lighter your hair is the more prone to damage it is because it's hollow is missing pigment and that makes it more prone to damage and um, the darker your hair is the more healthier it should be so whenever you have platinum blonde hair especially if you have black hair to begin with then the hair will never be as soft as is if as if you had the dark hair but um you can still you know with this routine um have very soft manageable good looking hair still and uh if you're one of those that you think that your hair is past the repairing stage try this before and if it doesn't work then do the haircut that i told you also for everybody else do trim your hair like every six weeks about just the very very tips um, whenever you have a split in you have to cut it at its source or else it's like a thread and it keeps going higher and higher and higher to where you have to cut it even shorter so do your hair trim like subscribe and leave your comments down below i'll try to get back to you and my instagram is 11 karen kepler bye